Boom, boom. Here we go. We're solving following. Uh, we're going to be solving some quadratics today that involve complex and imaginary numbers in the form of A plus BI. Now, you probably think of yourselves complex and imaginary. That sounds crazy, but we actually need them because they do a lot of com, uh, communication about what's happening in a quadratic or even in other polynomials that don't have roots. So when we think about complex and imaginary numbers, we start with what we'd call a real number. Um, and then what we have is the imaginary piece. Um, in order to identify that, it, when we talk about complex and imaginary numbers, it's really talking about what's happening in the graph. So let's look at this x squared plus one. We know that x squared plus one should have two roots or two x-intercepts. And the way we know that is based off of our information for polynomials, the exponent or the highest degree exponent tells us how many roots can occur, okay? So in this case, we should have two roots. But if we go over to Desmos and we type in x squared plus one, we're looking for two roots. But what you're gonna notice just by the graph right here is that, hey, there's nothing on the x axis. There are no x intercepts in this case. And when there's no x intercepts, but there's supposed to be some, those are imaginary and complex roots.